Today I'll show you how to create a buzzing table on your website using Elementor. Normally in Elementor when you are using the Elementor buzzing table widget, you don't have so much option to customize the design and the layout of the table. So I'll show you how to make a 100% customizable pricing table and I will also show you how you can make this monthly yearly toggle button with that. And here I give a 20% discount for my yearly subscribed users and that's why you can see the price has been decreased for my yearly plan. And finally if we look at this from our tablet or mobile devices, you can see we have made it fully responsive from all of this. So without further ado, let's see how can we make that. So here in this page, I want to add our pricing table. So for this, first of all, I want to take our toggle button under this paragraph here. So for this, let's take an inner section widget. And I want to delete this second column. We don't need that. And inside this inner section, I want to add a paragraph. So from here, let's drag this text editor widget inside that. And let's write down the word monthly and I don't want to make it to full width so from this position option let's make it with to inline then go to this style tab here from the text color I want to change its color to this dark color and here I also want to use this color on another places on this page so let's save this color as a global color so let's click on this plus icon and name this color to dark and click on create okay then let's go to the typography and from here I want to make its font size to 16 pixel and at the bottom here you can see some extra space we want to remove that space with using this negative margin so from here let's make the negative margin to minus 26 pixel and here I want to align this at the middle of this inner section so go to the column settings from here and make the horizontal align to the center so after this paragraph i want to add another one so let's duplicate this from here and for this let's write yearly and for this paragraph i want to make it to more bold because here i want to encourage my user to go with the yearly plan so that's why i want to make it more highlighted make it to 700 and also change this color to more dark color okay and also save this color as a different color so go to this plus icon and save this to this and click on create so right now between these two words i want to add our toggle button so we will do this by using the divider widget let's drag this to after this monthly paragraph and first of all I want to make its width from here to 63 pixel and we also want to make its width to inline so make it to inline then go to this style tab and from here I want to increase its weight to 33 pixel and we don't want any gap so make it to fully zero and then we also want to add some border radius around the corner of this so if we go to advance and from the border let's make the border radius to 30 pixel okay but here you cannot see the border radius because we need to do it in another way so from the style tab here first of all we need to make this color to fully transparent and we need to set this color from our background option from here so let's make it to our this deep dark color okay now you can see our border radius properly so after that i want to add some space between this paragraph so from this advanced tab on the left and right side i want to give this gap to 18 pixel okay but here in this toggle button we also want to add a round shape and when you click on this the position of this round corner will be switches from left to right okay so to make this round shape we need to do that with our custom CSS and by the way if you want to use this custom CSS option you have to have the pro version of Elementor so if you don't have Elementor Pro you can get this from my link on the description so right now let's paste our custom CSS code to here and you can see our round shape has been added inside our icon so here you don't need to worry about this custom CSS code I have give that code snippet on my website and also give that link of my website in my description 
you just need to go to here and directly paste this code on your website. Okay, so our toggle button has been done. Now here for our yearly plan, I want to give my user 20% of discount. So for this, I want to add a badges at the right side of this yearly text here. So we need to just duplicate this paragraph from here. And for this paragraph, I want to write down 20% discount. And from this style, I want to change its font to another font, this product sans. And let's reduce the font size to 12 pixel. And from this advance, let's go to this background and add a background color from here and also add some border radius let's make three pixel of border radius and let's also give some padding at the right and left okay now everything looks good but here if we look at this icon you can see it is not properly aligned at the middle of our page so to align this properly on this middle i want to make the badges position to absolute so for this let's go to its settings and for the positioning make its position to absolute okay now we can see it's properly aligned and right now let's position this to right here okay now this looks good but if we now go to our tablet device here we can see for different width of devices the position of these badges has been changed so this is really happen because we have set the horizontal position of these badges with pixel so if we use a pixel or percentage unit, it will be not working properly for all of our devices. So we can solve this problem by writing some custom CSS code. So if we can go to the desktop device, we need to remove the value from here. And under the custom CSS here, we can write down selector. And from the left side, I want to make its position to 50%. And then I want to add some pixel with that. Okay, but we need to wrap this inside an calc function, otherwise this is don't work. Okay, now we need to adjust this. Okay, if we make it to 112 pixel from the 50%. And now if we go to our tablet device, you can see this is now also working properly of any width of our devices. And let's also check this from our mobile device. Okay, for mobile it's working properly but it goes outside of our screen. For this, we need to write down here some custom media query. So only for mobile device, here we write this custom CSS code. Okay, but we need to position it a little bit down. So from the position, let's make it to 44 pixel. Okay, now this is looks good from all of our devices. So now our toggle section looks really very good. But if we click on this, you can see it doesn't work so i'll show you how we can make it work but before that let's create our pricing table under this section here so from here let's click on this plus icon and take and three column layout and for this section first of all i want to give a width from the section settings i want to give it to 960 pixel of width and also want to give some margin at the top and bottom let's give it to 30 pixel of margin Okay, so now here on the first column, if we insert a pricing table widget, so if we here search for the pricing table and drag it to here, so here you can see for the pricing table, here we have all kind of options, but if we want to make a fully custom layout, we cannot do that with our default price table widget. So for this, I want to delete this widget and we will make our pricing table by combining the headings, the paragraphs, this button, this kind of thing so here first of all let's drag this heading widget to here and give the name of our plan okay from the style tab i want to change this color to this and also reduce the font size 21 pixel and under that i want to add some description of this plan so let's write a little bit of description about that from the style let's change this color to normal dark and then let's duplicate this heading from here and in this heading i want to write the price but for this price i want to increase the font size to 35 and also want to make the font weight to 900 and then let's also duplicate this paragraph 
So after all of this, we need to add our main thing, which is the button of this pricing table. And for this button, I want to make it to full width. So let's make the alignment to justify it and also change this text. From this style tab, I want to change the background color to fully transparent. And let's make the text color to our this dark color. And I also want to make some solid border to pixel of border. And from the typography also, I want to change this font, this product signs, make the font size to 16 pixel. And also let's make the font weight to 900. Okay. And finally, I want the rounded corner. So from the border radius, let's make it to 10 pixel. And I want to adjust the padding to 15 or 16 pixel. Okay, now our button looks great. But if we go to our content and here we can see the link is now set to hash. So basically now this button is do nothing. But if you want to know how we can make a real purchasing system with this button, I have already made another tutorial on that. So where I have shown you how can people the real product by using the PayPal. Okay, I will add that video on the right corner here. You can check that out. So now under this button, I want to add some features. So from here, I want to search for the icon widget, the icon list widget. Let's drag this under here and let's add some features. Okay. And for this feature, I want to make this portion of this text to bold. So let's select this and make this to bold. So you can see here, this is wrapped inside the HTML B tag. So here I also want to make this portion to our more dark color for this here I want to add the style attribute and in this equal sign I want to write down the color then the colon and here I just want to paste the color code of our dark color. So if we go to this heading here I have used this dark color. So let's copy this color from here and if we paste it right after here. Now we can see this portion of the text will become that color. So after that here I want to delete the remaining items and I just want to duplicate it from here. And here I want to add another feature. And by following the same process, let's quickly add the other features to here. Okay, so after adding this widget, let's design this from the style tab. Here, first of all, I want to add just the spacing between this. So I want to make it to 8 pixel. And I also want to change the color of these icons. From this icon, let's make it to this deep dark color. And I also want to add just the spacing between this icon and this text. So here, let's make it to 12 pixel. So now here, everything looks good. But one last thing we have to do, we need to adjust the spacing between all of these items. Otherwise, you can see it not looks so good. So for this, first of all, let's go to the setting widget. And here I want to use some negative margin to reduce this gap. Make it to minus 18 pixel. And for this paragraph, I want to make it to minus 14. And here let's make this to minus 22 here also minus 14 and lastly here for this icon list i also want to add some top margin 17 pixel so now that looks better and lastly i want to add some border for this whole column so go to this border settings go to the style and from this border make this to solid and i only want to make to one pixel of width and make the color from here to this and from the border radius let's make it to 20 pixel so here you can see this rounded corner and from the advanced settings we want to add some padding 32 pixel but on the top and bottom i want to increase this to 38 pixel and here from the margin we also want to add some margin at the left and right okay now this is looks great so right now, like our first column, we want to add another two columns right here. So let's directly duplicate this from here. And here I want to delete this remaining empty column. So now here for our second column, I want to change the name of this plan. 
and for the description let's also change this to this for the price also change this and this is not a free plan so we also need to change the text of this to get started and like this let's quickly change the other content inside these pricing tables okay so we have quickly changed this now here for our this middle table i want to highlight this because i want to encourage my user to buy from this plan and that really helps the user to not to be confused and pick a plan from this so to make it different first of all we need to change the background color for this column so from this column let's go to the style and from the background type i want to select a green type of background color and let's remove the border from here so go to the border and i want to make it the border type to none then for this button i want to make it fill with our dark color so go to the button settings and from this style first of all let's make the text color to the white color and i want to change the background color to our this deep dark color and we also need to change this border color so let's make the color also this deep dark but here you can see with this white color this text is looks really very bold so i want to make it to 700 perfect and lastly i want to make its height a little bit higher from the other plans so for this i want to change the padding so from the column settings let's increase the top padding to 60 pixel and also for the bottom to 60 pixel okay but here you can see for increasing its height our other column height will also has been increased so to fix this problem we need to go to the section settings and go to the layout and here we need to set the height to minimum height okay now you can see here our other column height will be a little bit smaller than our middle column so we have done with the design of our pricing table now we will work with our toggle button but before that let's quickly check our pricing table for our tablet and mobile device here if we go to the tablet we can see this is looks really very narrow for our tablet device so we need to fix that from our column settings here instead of 20 pixel i want to make it to 10 on the left and right and we also need to reduce the padding here so for the top and bottom we need to keep it the same 38 pixel and on the left and right let's make it to 20 and let's copy the style from here and paste it for this column and we also need to fix that for our middle column okay now our pricing table looks great for the tablet and finally let's check this for our mobile device so here everything looks good but we need to add some space between these columns so for this column make the bottom margin to 35 pixel and also do the same for this one okay now everything looks great let's go back again to our desktop and now here what i want to do i want to copy this whole section so let's duplicate this from here and for our first section we don't do anything but for our this section we will change this price for our yearly plan here we give the 20 percent discount so for this i want to calculate this with our calculator if we give 20 percent discount so we want to calculate only 80 percent 49.5 multiply 80 divided by 100 is equal to 39.6 so for yearly plan it's only 39.6 dollar and for this plan is equal to 103.6 okay so this is for our yearly plan and now what i want to do initially i want to show our this second section and when someone toggle for this monthly plan then our first section will be shown and our second section will be hidden so for this we need to add some custom javascript code and here i want to mention that you need to check the responsiveness of this section before duplicating that otherwise if we first duplicate and then do our responsive work for our first section then we also again need to do that work for our second section okay so now to make this work we need to add some classes with our sections so for our first section let's go to the advanced 
and need to add the class pricing tables and then we need to add an space then pricing tables one and for our second section let's add the same class pricing tables but for our second class we will write pricing table two and we also need to add an class with our toggle button so if we go to this divider widget and here let's add the class price toggle okay after adding these classes we need to add our custom javascript code so for this let's search for an html widget and drag this to anywhere on your page i will drag this to inside this section and let's paste this code to here and then click on this update button to save our work and click on this preview icon and now if we look at this our pricing table you can see our toggle button works properly and for the yearly plan we can see our reduced price and for the monthly plan our price will be higher so here for our monthly plan you can see our toggle button with this kind of disabled color so if you also want to customize this color you can do that from this custom css code here so if you go to this widget settings and here inside our custom code you can see this inactive color so if you want to change this to any other color you can also do that from here and here all of this code snippet this css code here this javascript code you can get all of this from my website so you don't have to worry about that so that's how you can create this kind of fully responsive and customizable pricing table and also add a toggle button with that if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want me to help you for any kind of wordpress related project feel free to contact me through my website which is makedreamwebsite.com i'll try my best to help you so thanks for today i'll see you on my next tutorial